and we're here with head coach Tony Aarons. Um, coach, I'll tell you what, I, I if, if the team and the coaches are excited as the community is for this game, it's going to be one heck of a game. Yeah, you know, the kids all week long have had some great practices, and they're, they're excited about wanting to get into this game, and they've prepared well. So, you know, now we're at a point of the week where we just simply got to uh, play a waiting game till we can get started. Now, offensively for your team, what do you think the keys will be against Wrights? You know, I, I think I think the important thing is that we just take care of the little stuff, handle the ball, don't turn the ball over, you know, don't jump off sides, stuff like that. Because uh, our kids are going to play and they're going to play hard, and we're going to move the football. But we don't we don't need to do what Central did last week, and that's just turn the ball over, turn the ball over, and, and give uh, uh, give rights an upper hand. Okay, defensively, what do you think the keys are? Yeah, first of all, they're going to do they're going to run a lot of trick plays. I mean, they they like to they like to really. Uh, uh, throw a bunch of trick stuff in there and so we got to be uh, in our spots take care of that and uh, you know they're gonna put the ball in five's hands so we're gonna have to defend him uh, he's their one of their guys that they really like to get the ball in the hands of so I think our kids have done a nice job studying and, and, and ready for this game okay good luck coach thank you coach Nick Eckert defense coordinator of the Jasper Wildcats Nick uh, Nice game last week. Uh, give us a little review of your Seymour game. Uh, I mean, kids did a great job. Uh, they were a throwing team. They completed one pass. We shut them down, shut the running game down. It was a good win for us. Now, Wrights, um, you know, started out a little slow, but they've really picked up the pace. Um, do they Are they doing anything different than other years, or is it just about no, the same? same? same stuff that they're running. Uh, they like to throw the ball first and then run it second with Vaughn. Uh, they'll throw it, you know, 20, 30 times a game, uh, rush it. 15-20 uh, with Vaughn, uh, but you know, same same ride stuff. Uh, they'll try to trick play you, get over the top of you, and uh, try to get some easy scores. And um, who are the, some of the players that we'll be looking out for tomorrow uh, night? Number five, uh, their main receiver. He's got all their yards in receiving, so we got to contain him. Vaughn, obviously, he's their year starter in the backfield, number 28. We got to contain him, make sure he doesn't get loose because he's got decent speed. And then uh, we got to keep 14 in the pocket, their quarterback, because he's got a decent arm, and then he will scramble and run when he gets the opportunity. Okay, good luck, Coach. Thanks. <laughs> Jeff, night before the sectional final, um, but before we get to that, could you give us a little overview on the offensive performance against the Seymour Owls? Well, we were able to come out and execute. Obviously, it was rainy and uh, wet conditions, so that cut down a little bit on what we wanted to do. We, you know, we really only attempted about three passes uh, in there. We had a little bit more of a game plan, throw the ball more, and since the running game was working, it was wet, we figured we'd uh, not wind up like them and throw three picks with no, no completions. So uh, stuck with the ground, and uh, the offensive line did a really good job. We had backs running hard and worked out well for us. Now, Wright's game this Friday, um, tell us a little bit about their defense. Um, they're very quick. Uh, you know, they've, they've, they've kind of gone away from us, ha as have most teams, because we see a lot of spread stuff anymore. They've gone away from having the really big linemen. They have a lot of uh, quick linemen. I'd say, you know, they've probably got about eight linebackers on the field. They're playing D-line and linebacking positions, and now they get a really good secondary back there. Number five, <coughs> who's one of their leading receivers, does a really nice job of playing the ball. He's got about eight, eight interceptions for the year, uh, several of them here in these last couple games against Modern Day and um, Castle, or uh, against uh, Central. So we've got to be able to negate some of that speed and uh, just try and sustain some blocks. Now, you know, they, they lost three early games. They've really come back strong. Uh, have they changed the lineup up, or is it just kids gaining experience, or exactly what? Uh, they've changed a little bit. I think they've tried to uh, – they've realized they were young this year. They kind of cut down a little bit on some of the things that they were doing early, some of the things they were able to do with a little bit more veteran team, and uh, went back more to basics and just basically kind of sat at the line, played, got the linebackers in good position, you know, read their keys a little bit better. I'd say they got a little bit more fundamental and execute their fundamentals better, which is what makes you a good team. And what do you think the keys are for tomorrow night? We need to be able to uh, maintain the line of scrimmage, if at all possible. We need to uh, limit turnovers and penalties. And, uh, you know, if we can do that, I think we'll be in a good shape to be in the game. Okay, good luck, Coach. Thanks.